Welcome, you two. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Sling and Dirt Media, I got Mr. Matt Hamilton. I don't know. Should I say Mr.? Mr. seems age appropriate for 30 ish. Yeah, kind yeah, of works, okay. I guess. We'll, yeah. we'll go with it. So, uh, you know, I don't know where this came from, but we're going to do the dirty 30 minutes with Matt Hamilton. So, you're telling me in the YouTube or Facebook uh, version, you did some go kart racing. Started that around what age? We didn't uh, technically get that far. Yeah, I would, I would guess. 13 14 range because okay. i only did it for a couple years right and then got out of it somewhere around 16 so okay took a few and got done with that finished high school and decided hey let's buy a car let's yep. go race it yeah yep. so what was what was your first was it always modified was that your first class mm -hmm. where was your first race at lordsburg lordsburg yep. okay yeah well, so when did you start making a trip to to florence um so we would we would venture over there every so often if Lawrenceburg wasn't running. Uh -huh. um, but I would say we did not really go over there a, a whole lot until they built the new, tr the new track. When oh, okay. Yeah, from the smaller one to yeah, the yeah, big yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Um, what what year was that? I mean, I, I, this I is, yeah, I, I couldn't tell you. So I raced on the old track. But I never got to race on a new track. That was right after, right when I quit racing. <laughs> That's, yeah. That was when it happened. So, huh? Yeah, yeah. They just they built it and then. Um, uh, I at that time I pref I really liked Florence's. You know, mm -hmm. just you just get burnt up and yeah, and it just uh just run the wall. Right. I, you know, it's kind of <laughs> not like how, the same it is now. <laughs> with, that's kind of how I uh with with the old style Lawrenceburg. That you know you just mm -hmm. run the cushion. You know, it was a sprint right. car track. Uh, and then went over to Florence and that kind of fit my style you know I wasn't uh, yeah, yeah. you know the, the cushion wasn't anything to right I remember you, you was always when from what I remember when you started over there coming over there it was you were banging the wall then you know it was a little different than banging the wall now but you were you were banging <laughs> the wall then yeah. <laughs> yeah that uh I I have no idea why that was a lot of a lot of key bars and everything and now well now you know these days everyone's got those uh pieces that mm -hmm. fold up we, we didn't do that back then it yeah. was so you had to replace the whole t-bar yeah, <laughs> it, yeah it it bended over on this side it was yeah it was it was dumb it was dumb it, but it was fun <laughs> look cool huh? yeah yeah <laughs> make for some cool videos and some cool tiktoks yeah <laughs> stuff like that so okay uh was there a rookie of the year anything like that notable going on yeah uh well, yeah, one, let's, one, yeah, the first year we ran at Lawrenceburg, one rookie of the year there. Um, I think third or fourth in the points. Uh, Respectable for a rookie, yeah. Uh, and then after that, it kind of gets fuzzy. Fuzzy, yeah. <laughs> it takes about 10, 10 years to learn what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't, so. Then there's the fuzzy era, you know, it's like, gotcha. Yeah, just having no idea what we're doing, showing up and having fun. Yeah. Just go fast, have fun. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 okay. So you always drove modified. Yes. Since you've been in a car, you drove anything else? I drove uh, a late model for uh, Arnold Hines. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I yeah. drove it uh, two or three times. Um, only, I think we only finished once. Yeah. Had uh, engine issues the other two times, so, and that was, that was my brief. Right. Right, my brief uh, late, time in a late model, late model career. Yeah, <laughs> I knew. Uh, we, we, see, when I had, uh, we did Billy Vaughn, and he did some driving with uh, Heinz, and said that they were going through, and it took them a few, but they found a defective blocks, whatever. When they were building the engines, is it wasn't necessarily anything they were doing wrong, but it was that they found. But the bad thing was, it was expensive way to go through several of them to find yeah. man these things are defective what's yeah. going on here and god I, I couldn't imagine to do something like that multiple multiple times to oh it wasn't our fault to begin with yeah jeez um so short career in late model er, any aspirations ever wanted to go back to it or anything or just no nah. no like the yeah. mods yeah yeah, yeah. I, I i'm i'm a uh a person of habit i yeah. don't uh i don't uh i don't I, I order the same thing at all the restaurants. <laughs> all know, the restaurants. It, it's the exact same thing. The exact same thing. You know, it's. So, it's, so getting to know Matt outside of the car. What, what is like your favorite restaurants? What, what's your what is your habits? Let's get some of those. Man, uh, <laughs> fast food. What kind of burger are you liking? I well, if I had to go for a 
Burger. It'd probably be Hardee's. Hardee's, yeah. Uh, okay. We kind of we don't have the many of them yeah. here. I mean, go. where's the closest Hardee's at? I don't even know. Uh, well, it's the Sadieville exit down <laughs> 75, and we we hit it up every time we go to Tennessee. I got you. I got you. Uh, yeah. But uh, like Arby's. Uh, roast beef Arby's. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's Arby's. probably my go-to. There you go. <clears throat> Penn Station or Subway? Penn Station. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big – and I'm like, man, if I'm going to get cold cut, I can make that at home. I don't yeah. need to go there and get a glorified sandwich. <laughs> I can make it at home. Yeah. So I like my Penn Station. Uh, what about the Skyline or Gold Star? Skyline. Yeah. Skyline, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even... A lot of people seem to be – to me, I think it's, it depends on what am I getting. Am I getting Coney's or am I getting three-way? It's like I like the Coney's better at Gold Star, yeah. but I like the three-way's better at Skyline. Yeah, think and the chili cheese fries. i got to have Gold Star chili cheese fries. If you're going to Gold Star, you better just be getting a Coke or something. <laughs> Can I get an ice? Yeah, that's, a cup of ice. Yeah, that, that, well, the ice may even be bad there. <laughs> Might be. Um, what kind of music are you into? What's Matt listening to on the way to the track? What, what's getting you oh, pumped up? Well... <laughs> Probably whatever he, you know, thirty year old listens to. You know, uh, Soundgarden. It's a, it's a lot <laughs> no, of. Well, it's, actually, listen to a lot of podcasts. Yeah, it's there weird. you go. <laughs> I did. Uh, I made a trip. Where was it? Oh, uh, down to Mississippi, and it was Dale Junior's download the whole time, <laughs> all the way there. Yeah. I was like eight hours. I cannot believe I just listened to a podcast for eight <laughs> hours straight. Yeah. But it was good stuff. You know, it's yeah. entertaining, to, at least to me. You know, but. I'm not quite 30s anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I usually don't listen to uh, uh, music until we were lost in the middle of the woods. And then, then you turn on some music. Then, anyway, okay. then we turn it on, yeah. Yeah? Country music, rock and roll, what's, what's you got some hip-hop going on? A L- little bit of hip yeah, a little, <laughs> little bit of T-Pain. hip-hop, but uh, <laughs> mostly it's kind of the, 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 I don't know what you call it, the, uh, the new country, like okay. uh, some Jason Aldean uh, type stuff. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> uh, Hardy, Co Wetzel, like a country rock, okay, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's Matt outside the car. What's Matt inside the car thinking? I'm talking to myself. You, they'd, <laughs> they'd lock me up. <laughs> you get, get guys crossing you over and you're like you son of a you, you, I'm like yeah, I'm gonna get you back or something like that. Is some of that going on. You gotta talk yourself down from it. No, no, uh, I mean, in the, I don't really think a whole lot. It's, it's mostly just reaction, yeah. um, until you're under yellow and then I'll, I <laughs> then just, you have the last few laps of thinking. Uh, about then it. I just, I worry myself to death until we go green again, <laughs> like this restart. I don't want to screw up or if uh, someone's behind me, what do I do when they do this or right. to get in front of somebody? What do I got to do here? You're that? overthinking yourself. I overthink it until it goes green and then I just react. So <laughs> it's. It's uh, yeah. I, I'm not very good. If it, if I'm, <laughs> I'm not, not good with caution. So I've got time. Yeah, to if think. I'm not on the the gas, like just not thinking, yeah. I just uh. Okay, now this. Some people will get this question. Some people, do you drive with two hands or one? One. <laughs> I yeah. I, I use one. I use one hand, and then uh, I'll have my other one. It'll rest down on my lap. Yeah. And okay. I use it to stop the wheel where I want it. Okay. It's. Like a like a like a brake on a steering wheel. Just, yeah, just like that. I'll, I, gotcha. every, everything's with the left hand, and if I feel yeah. like I need to stop it, I just squeeze with my right. I, you know what? I always did the the decking. I'd hold just hold the decking right there for a lot and just <laughs> I crank on it with the left hand. Yeah, it de- de- well, it depends on the size of the track. Like Lawrenceburg, I don't do that. Florence, I didn't. Uh, when we used to run at uh, Union County or Route okay. 44 yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever the name, white that, water-ish. Yeah. Those corners were so small and tight that it was a it was a hand on the deck. <laughs> it was a hand on the deck. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Here we go. Do you, Do you have a favorite track? I mean, Lawrenceburg's obviously <clears throat> it's close, but so do you have a favorite favorite or one you can look forward <sighs> to going to or? Um, I mean, Lawrenceburg on a good night, it's it's i mean i it, yeah. that's really fun um yeah. uh obviously you know the uh florence when i guess it would have been maybe 10 years ago or so uh i've really enjoyed it over there um i've only been able to run there once uh farmer city that was a an odd fun track to run <laughs> it uh it was two completely different corners I, right. I guess waynesfield's like that too and i okay i kind of you know i had success up there but yeah um yeah it's just 
kind of set in my ways. I, I just yeah. say Lawrence creature habit. Yeah. <laughs> what about uh, what about El Dor? You running races up there, doing any good there? <clears throat> I I ran there two or three times, and I kind of had no business being there. Really? It, uh, the first time we went there, it was kind of a wore out car. Okay. Uh, engine was wore out. You know, we just it yeah. was the. Uh, the fall nationals back when oh, they okay. had it and they had yeah, 200 like, something cars there yeah. and, uh showed up the gear wasn't right had the nine inches that's <laughs> that's how long it long it was ago yeah. um and then the next two times we broke engines so mm. it's just Play, like, place could be hard on equipment yeah we'll just, we'll just, eh, we'll just, maybe we'll just stay down I here mean, yeah we'll just, stay. <laughs> we'll just go there do you go there and watch do you go to any of the big races and watch <clears throat> can nah. i am probably the worst race fan there is no nah. uh I have no desire to go at a racetrack. You know that's that's not surprising. I have a lot. I have a lot of friends and a lot of friends that race. And the racing friends that I had, they're like, if I'm not racing, I don't want to go. They're like, I don't want to watch. I'm like, man, that's that's crazy because I mean, there are several times a year that if I'm not working, man, I still want to go and watch the race and enjoy it and drink some beer and have a good time. Unfortunately, it's like Eldor just happens to be the World 100 just happens to be like the only opportunity that i get to do that because i mean yeah. I'm busy working somewhere or something so it's like that's like my i guess go to racing vacation however you want to call it yeah, yeah but it's like yeah i have so many racing friends that say yeah if i'm not racing i can't go watch i'm like that's crazy you know? yeah. <laughs> i still like to watch <laughs> yeah well, i think i would uh if you know if anything you know i've been to the the north south or, or i've been to the, the mm -hmm. world in the dream but it was for the yeah. the party yeah. not so much the race yeah I know, I think it came up once before. I went to a dream one time. Well, I went to, went to the first million, and uh, then I went to one other dream since then, and it was, I knew going into it, it was going to rain out. I was strictly, I was just going to the party. You know, Josh <laughs> yeah. was like, hey, man, come on. He's like, I can't we're already set up. Come on, party. I'm like, all right, fine. You know, yeah. it's a long drive for a party, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys do, you go to North South, do you still camp out or go to that much or? Um, it's not, no, we, well, we haven't been to it. We went two, two years ago and raced, um, and then it had to be probably another couple of years yeah. prior to that before, you know, <laughs> we, uh, we watched just because, <clears throat> like I said, it's, it, it turns into a party and when you gotta that next <laughs> you gotta morning, work the next day <laughs> uh when you gotta get strap in the car the next morning after that yeah. it's it's like what, what was i thinking yeah <laughs> they had a song like it what was i thinking <laughs> yeah um uh, man you know i it seemed like back 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 in the day it's like man it seemed like the the harder i partied the night before yeah the the morning i guess was a little rough but man i was I was better. I was better with a hangover. <laughs> Depending on what it is, I was much better with a hangover. I don't know if it's just the hangover just took away the extra thinking about it or whatever. You just you just go with it at that point. But uh, there's there's actually still a few things I do better. Probably hungover <laughs> or slightly intoxicated. <laughs> um, you shoot pool? Do anything like that? Bowling? No. Golf? What kind, no what kind of hobbies you got outside of the race car? Other than... Other than the side by Other side, you side big on the side by side. I see yeah. a lot of those pictures and stuff. Okay. Yeah, um, uh, man, I don't don't know. We get get pretty boozed up in the pool. Yeah, uh, that's, that's always fun. Um, I think my wife's going to do a lot of that this year. <laughs> uh, vacations, we do. We've yeah. been doing a lot of vacations. Okay. Um, other than that. This you know. So w which like, one gets in the way of which? Is racing getting in the way of the vacations, or vacation getting in the way of the racing, or how? Well, it depends on the. <clears throat> it it depends on who you'd ask at what time period. <laughs> Shelly like, might uh, think a little differently. If it was uh, if it was me five ten years ago, I'd say yeah. everything got in the way of racing. Right. Uh, now it's like well, racing is getting in the way of everything else. <laughs> now. Right. And then she uh, she's the I th I'd say she's the complete opposite now. Okay, she, so you guys she, rolls and maybe flip flop a little bit. Maybe, yeah. She, yeah. oh yeah, she. I mean, she's gone to uh, uh, when Lawrenceburg wasn't running. I think she's gone to the north south by herself. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> what the? Or uh, like a Thursday uh, a Thurs when they start doing the Thursday okay. shows. Yeah, she yeah, go yeah. over on Thursday. Like, I got work in the morning. There's no way I <laughs> need to be around any of what's going to be happening. <laughs> what's there. going on over there? I do yeah. not need to be around. <laughs> you guys are bad influences. I know, right? <laughs> 
but you know we got we got links playing some tunes and <clears throat> keep keeping us awake you know <laughs> again more bad influences yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so where do you guys yeah again i see a lot of the side-by-side picks you guys got a favorite place you guys go riding doing that a lot yeah it's yeah. like anytime you're not racing you're you're riding a side-by-side or something somewhere yeah, yeah. you got favorite places or <clears throat> stuff like that or what's going yeah, on there uh, a lot most of the time we'll go down to uh uh brimstone and twra okay <clears throat> now you have is, to tell me a little more about these because i know nothing about them sounds fun but hey yeah well i mean we we spend uh equal or as much money, money on a, a side by side as a race car to go out in the middle of the woods and, and just drink trash them and yeah. drink beer <laughs> yeah. well i mean that sounds like fun i could it, probably it's, get uh, into it's that a lot of fun. <laughs> gotcha yeah i kind of steered toward i mean I would probably get into the side by side, but you know, we, me and my wife got a new camper, so we bought that last year. And um, my my uncle uh, Matt's dad, I don't know if you remember my cousin Matt, that drove the nine one one car. Mm-hmm. So my his dad, my uncle Dan, he he al- he always told me, he said, "Oh man, as long as you got one of those, he says, you, you'll never have anything." And I was like, "Man, I'm gonna do everything I can to prove my uncle Dan wrong. I can have all kinds of toys, all kinds of cool stuff." <laughs> well. It didn't quite work out that way, but then once I got rid of the race car, it's like, man, now I now I've got an old Corvette that's pretty cool, you know, and I've got a Harley and I I like to ride and got a camper. It's like, man, I got some pretty cool toys now, <laughs> but no, I, I still don't have a race car. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, and and well, I mean, in the, the racing deal, it's like if we had, or at least for me, I could say that you know, if I had like. 10 more hours in a day or like three more days of a week <laughs> you know i had enough time to do everything i wanted to do right it wouldn't be an issue but to to race to race how i want to race sure you know, i don't i don't want to show up at a racetrack mm-hmm. and and be okay with second yeah. uh, you know so uh, when we're racing it's i mean it's seven days a week you're there to win yeah yeah, yeah. it's uh, second is not on the agenda i'm there to win yeah yeah i um uh, that man that would have been so awesome <laughs> <laughs> yeah um man yeah i i could not get to where i wanted to and it was like man i just i'm not okay with running around 10th place or anywhere near that i mean i want to be running up front and i want to do more 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 but i just it wasn't there the funds wasn't there and i didn't have big backing or anything like that and i was doing it all on my own and it's like no nah, i think i'm gonna do some other stuff and yeah now i actually get to go to the racetrack and and make money without having to spend money so it's like it's a trade-off i guess yeah. i don't get to have as much fun but it doesn't cost me as much money mm-hmm. <laughs> but i can still get to see it every week you know so hey i can't i can't complain yeah um so we're getting ready to start the lawrenceburg season that's uh season openers this week so uh people that are finally by the time they'll get to watch this we're we're a few weeks out on actually airing and things like that so um you are you excited you ready you ready to go i know we've had a few weeks that have been canceled and yeah yeah uh i mean you know it's i don't think that's a high of a 60 so i mean we got one more weekend <laughs> one I more be, week maybe it'd be 70 I would, yeah 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 that's yeah i'm you know when you when you're 30 like me <laughs> ish it's just ish something like 60 that's just still it's cold. Too cold yeah just zaps all the motivation right i'm like man who ever thought this was a good idea i know uh, a few weeks ago we raced it at, at molar and it was like man i'm not coming out of this tower it's cold out there i don't know how those brave people stood I, it in the stand yeah, i'm like I, man I there's know. some some good diehard people out there and we appreciate them that's awesome yeah i don't know how i did that when i first started we used to do just dumb stuff if, yeah so you know this track is racing at april you know for you know go. it's four hours away okay yeah, it's okay. gonna be it's gonna be 45 degrees but uh yeah that's I, re- I remember playing soccer one time in high school in soccer shorts t-shirt i'm like i'm not putting pants on it was snowing i mean there was literally the soccer field had like two or three inches of snow on it. i'm like i'm still doing this i'm like what an idiot uh-uh, no. <laughs> i was where was the thinking process in that yeah <laughs> where's my mom and dad let me do that <laughs> I, yeah I, I work an hour overtime at work every day just so i can keep my my heat in my house up at 72 <laughs> 72 yeah. not 70 72 yeah, 72 yeah i mean if i put it to 73 you know shelly might start complaining it's too hot <laughs> it's too hot yeah <laughs> yeah wait wait a few years she'll be like all right we gotta mine uh 
we're sleeping with the windows open now. <laughs> it's like the fans are on, windows are open. I'm over here bundled up. Like, hey, what's going on here? <laughs> um, man. So, uh, what what else are we doing outside the car? We got any other hobbies other than a side by side? We talked about that a little bit. Anything else going on? You done done any any sports growing up? Anything like that? Uh, uh, yeah, I growing up, I I played uh tried to play basketball and baseball. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh It just white man can't jump. Good I, I don't ha- I don't have the attention span. <laughs> I just you know well especially playing baseball, it's so slow. You just yeah. And then just you just yeah, zone yeah, out. And, yeah, you know, I wouldn't could it, stay in it. Yeah, I just yeah I couldn't uh. I couldn't do that um but uh i mean yeah i'm now you I'm had you had brother that, you have a brother that raced too right yeah so how how, how was that ra- racing against a sibling out there um and it, does he still race or is he, he out of he's been mm-hmm. out of it for a little while hasn't he yeah yeah he he he, he had kids oh okay yeah. yeah that that'll tend to slow them cars down yeah, real quick. yeah yeah he he, had, he got married and had kids i just got cats you so just got cats i still got all God, the toys what is wrong with you cats. <laughs> I hate cats. you still got all the toys but you got cats oh, okay it's a trade-off i yeah. guess yeah. yeah um so how how long did did adam race um uh, man he 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 raced a while yeah. um he, he, uh, i'm pretty sure he raced at the old old Lawrenceburg and right. the new one um okay. but we didn't race against each other a whole lot uh because was that in the, the time when you were at I Florence, went to Florence yeah and you he was at uh Lawrenceburg mm-hmm. okay yeah. okay hmm that's interesting yeah I would I would say he stopped around 13 or 14 I think he stopped or he started stopped really so he was racing young yeah yeah, he was, uh, he was. See, I thought he was older than that. He was pretty. Yeah, he was okay. pretty young. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. No, gotcha. I, after after I was doing it a, a few years, my dad yeah. did the same thing. He's like, "Hey, you hey, want to try this? Hey, you want my car? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay." <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I think that's how I got my first motorcycle. Dad came to my room. It's like three o'clock in the morning. He's like, "Hey, you want to buy a motorcycle?" Like, okay, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> so I ended up with a motorcycle. Um gosh so i mean man there, there's so much so many other things to talk about we'll throw we'll just stack of tires in front of them let's talk about tires for a second how are you are you set on tires is i mean that does not look like a year supply of tires <clears throat> no that is unfortunately going to be a week, uh, a week or two <laughs> yeah yeah well you know if if like i said well last year you know we were going to at least a tire every night right um now, how, now whether you needed to do that or not I don't know, but you're I doing wanna, it anyway. I didn't want to run second, <laughs> right? So, um, so yeah, the tires, yeah, they're uh, the costs. Uh, How, how's that treating you? It, <sighs> uh, <laughs> it's. I mean, uh, you know, it it sucks, but mm-hmm. it's not. Uh, I mean, it's what is it thirty thirty five dollars? I mean, if, yeah. if someone told me you have to spend an extra thirty five dollars to win. Okay, I'd, I'd give him a hundred. You know? <laughs> yeah. Here, here's two. Take yeah. two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean it, it's it's gonna it's gonna suck, but um, like I said, uh, to do this to do this the way I want to do it. Yeah, uh, you're just gonna have to suck it up and deal right. with it. I remember when my first modified that I had, a guy I bought it from, Kevin Hartman. He told me every week for the feature. I don't know if he was. Just pull my leg or if he's being honest he said every week when that car rolled on the track for feature he had four brand new tires on it I'm like are you kidding me i gotta look forward to that <laughs> i'm like what I get, okay i could see two new two yeah not four <laughs> what the heck no yeah I, 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 well i mean with tire i'm pretty so i like the, you know the front ones will run a lot yeah. left or, or left front i'll probably run the same one all year right but uh you know the <laughs> the ones that make you go yeah uh, those are pretty important tires yeah those, yeah those will be fresh <laughs> gotcha gotcha um so other than that no no big changes you run pretty much the same equipment <laughs> fresh motor freshened yep. same motor yep yeah yeah we'll have um we'll have two of them um this year after dealing with uh <clears throat> only having one last year dude just couldn't get 
parts for the right. other one. Yeah. Uh, so I know I know guys that are still waiting on pistons. I mean, yeah. engines have been torn down since November. Can't get them. And it's like, dang, oh, they can't be hard to get these pistons, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, finally, well, that's the uh, the one that we didn't have last year was pistons. And mm -hmm. they came in over the winter. So we'll have that one back. And uh, we got this one ready to go. And, and uh, but uh, hopefully... Hopefully, good to go. Yeah, so, I, I believe so. It, you know, like, like I said earlier, it it started and I moved it. Okay, now, uh, that's that's a uh, in the in the right direction anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we'll, I'll figure it all out in turn one if I got it right. <laughs> right, if this works or if it doesn't. Yeah. Right, that's usually when you find out. <laughs> um, so you got some sponsors. Any who who do you need to thank? Who need you need to mention or any, any of that important stuff? Well, uh, I. <clears throat> You know the main one is uh, <laughs> Vexco Engineering. Um, Jimmy Voles. He uh, he was a sponsor of mine for several years back when I had my own stuff, and okay. then when I sold it, and I you know drove um, drove for a couple people. He was still helping me out. Okay. And uh, that's nice to have the sponsors <laughs> that stay stay with you. Hey, yeah, I'm not, I'm not yeah. still not in my equipment, but you know. Yeah, he. It's cool. uh, and then you know the last year and a half, he just. Uh, he, he wasn't uh he wasn't happy with the results we were getting yeah so he just decided to become a car owner oh okay Went out and uh, we found this uh diamond mm -hmm. it didn't have actually it only had like a, a night on it uh, hot laps and a heat race okay he went and found it and bought it um <clears throat> i mean gotta really give thanks to him yeah you know, he's uh for sure he was footing the bill for this um we got a few new ones. Uh, Richardson Trucking, out of Milan, um, then Mila, Milan Napa Auto Parts, and we got Stainless Crafts new on board, uh, Dearborn Building and Grounds, and then like I said, Diamond Race Cars, uh, House Engines, um, and then a new one on the nose, uh, Stacked. Can't can't really see it, so. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, hopefully I got that one right. <laughs> what about your crew? You got some good guys helping you. I mean, back in the day, it seemed like you, know, you had a dozen guys every week. It's like, man, wh where do you get all these guys? <laughs> um, well, uh, you know, Jimmy's been coming to the racetrack with us, um, and then I've had one guy that's helped me for the longest time, Ricky Freeman. Yeah. Um, he, you know, he shows up at the track and and uh, helps me out there, but. You know, other than other than that, you yeah. know, during the week it's one man band, one man, yeah, <laughs> one man show, and it's probably lucky because, like I said earlier, the conversations I have with myself, it it. Uh, so, so it's okay that we leave a camera what, what, when we leave. We can just we can have some of that footage for later on. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I gotcha. Uh, Mom, Dad, wife, Shelley. Yeah, I mean, Shelly. All the important people. Yeah, well, this is, you know, this is their uh, parents' garage. Okay. Uh, I, you know, I live, luckily live across the street, so I can just walk here. But, <laughs> That's um, got to help. That's got to yeah. be. <clears throat> yeah, and then, you know, Shelly, she, uh, yeah, she kind of shows up maybe sometimes on Sundays and helps wash <laughs> tires. Well, on wash day? Yeah. I, that's a pretty important day because that's uh, – that, crap that nobody wants to do yeah that and you know, she keeps the uh the the beer concession stand uh nice. in business and nice back stretch. that's good to know yeah hey shelly can you run over the tower real quick <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> good stuff uh before we wrap things up anything else we need to, to mention or you, you we good oh man i heck i don't know go uh, going for another championship just more wins just can't wait to get back out there uh i mean just really yeah just just wins just wins yeah just yeah. that's just could care less about points i just want wins yeah <laughs> i mean if, if you show up a place enough and win enough the points will work themselves out yeah yeah I mean, uh, a lot of guys are saying that and i'm like well, okay yeah i don't know that i believe all of them but i'm like okay i mean yeah. I, I get the want to win part but yeah. yeah i i mean you know if you if like i said i plan on running there every week so it, it's right definitely you know something to think about towards the end of the year but i'm not uh uh it's not uh going to be something where like well if i if i run second this yeah. gonna be a solid this points is, night right. we're just, just gonna i'm going for the win yeah we're just gonna send it and, and see what happens 
<laughs> right. It's always more fun that way. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. All right, guys, we're going to wrap things up. Uh, so uh, Matt Hamilton, we've been in the shop with him here. Like I said, we've had the Dirty 30 going on, talking about some uh, Florence action, some Lawrenceburg action, and what he's got coming up for the season. Uh, so uh, way to check him out, and appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you get out to one of your local tracks, whether it be Mola or Florence, Lawrenceburg, Brush Creek, wh whatever's close to you. Make sure you get out the racetrack and uh, bring a buddy. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe on the YouTube channel, and we'll see you next week. See ya. Now, don't forget, how much is it going to cost me to start on the pole? <laughs>